Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this video, we are going to discuss the design of the controller for the second order system using the discussion that we have already done in the previous videos that was related to the transient response of the second order system. We will see that how we can find out the parameters of the controller. So now let's look at this example. Here you can see uh, one feedback loop. And in the feedback loop, we have this derivative action kt into s, right? So it is going to act as a controller and we have another feedback loop that is this one. So we want to find out the value of this kt, the controller constant, right? If the zeta of this system, that the damping factor, overall damping factor of this system is equal to 0.6. So first of all now consider this loop right the inner loop you see it's a feedback loop so we are going to find out its net transfer function so feed forward transfer function divided by 1 plus feed forward into this feed uh, feedback that is equal to the loop gain so loop gain of this one is 20 by s into s plus 2 into kt s that is the loop gain right so this is the loop gain open loop transfer function this is the feed forward transfer function for this loop so using this expression we can find out the closed loop transfer function between this and this point so that is given by this expression so this is the closed loop transfer function representing this loop and this is basically this part of this uh, main block diagram okay so once evaluating this one i can draw it like this and now we have the unity feedback loop so we can find out the closed loop transfer function using the expression that is g of s divided by 1 plus g of s so this is the uh, g of s right so the closed loop transfer function of this uh, system is this one now the characteristic equation is uh, this one s square plus 2 plus 20 kt into s plus 20 now if we compare it with the standard uh, characteristic equation for the second order system that is s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square so by comparison we can say that omega n square is equal to 20 so from here i can calculate omega n so that is equal to 4.472 radian per second that's the natural frequency of your second order system okay now this part this is 2 zeta omega n so 2 zeta omega n will be equal to 2 plus 20 into kt so we have already seen the uh, value of omega n right so that is calculated and the zeta is given to us so zeta is to be adjusted that is equal to 0.6 so this must be equal to 2 plus 20 kt right so from this equation we can find out what is kt so kt is equal to 0 0.16832 so if we keep this constant equal to 0 0.16832 so our zeta the damping factor will be equal to 0 0.6 for this complete closed loop system which is basically a second order system right so we have evaluated this gain kt now other time domain specifications can be easily now calculated because now you know the zeta, you know the uh, constant kt and you know the omega n. So tp is equal to pi by omega d and omega d is equal to omega n into 1 minus zeta square. So you are just supposed to plug in the values so you will get this one. That is the uh, tp that is the peak time, time to reach the first peak of your second order transient response. And the overshoot can be calculated if you know the zeta. So that is equal to 9.49% uh, and the settling time for 2% criteria is given by this expression 4 by zeta omega n. So zeta is 0 0.6 omega n is this one. So 1.49 second. So this is the uh, diagram explaining the response of this system. So here you can see the rise time and uh, the peak time. Peak time we have evaluated 0.877 seconds. The settling time as we calculated over here that is the time to reach within the 2% variation of your steady state so that is 1.49 second overshoot is 9.49% and the zeta is 0.6 natural frequency is this one and the damp frequency is 3.5776 radian per second okay so we have uh, 
decided that what should be value of this kt so that this uh, closed loop system give uh, gives us the desired response that is the response that it, its damping factor is equal to 0.6 okay now let's look at this uh, second example feedback system is given to us that is this one here you can see the gain of 60 that is additionally added with respect to our previous uh, uh, example so what we need to do uh, we need to calculate zeta and omega n without the controller kd and then kd for the zeta is equal to 0.6 so if we uh, assume that there is no controller over here so this will be um, zero this is no more there so this summing block can be excluded and this 60 can be directly accommodated over here so this transfer function will become 60 divided by s into s plus 4 and the h of s for this case will be equal to 1 so this this will become the unity feedback system okay now we can find out the closed loop transfer function of this block diagram that is relating c of s with the r of s with the help of that one this is this g of s uh, multiplied with this 60 uh, this is g of s right and divided by 1 plus g of s so that is this one so simplifying this one we will get this expression and uh, this can be further simplified and can be written like this so this is the transfer function relating this input uh, sorry this output with the input when there is no controller we have considered that this controller is not present so now comparing it with the standard second order uh, transfer function that is given by this equation omega n square divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square so by comparison i can say that this omega n square is equal to 60 right so omega n can be calculated and this 2 zeta omega n will be equal to 4 so by this comparison i can find out the uh, zeta so zeta will be equal to 0.258 so if we have if we do not have this controller the natural frequency of our system is 7.746 radian per second and the damping factor is 0.258 right now let's uh, see that how we can increase this damping factor 2.6 if we introduce this kd right a controller in the feedback path for this portion of your block diagram so which type of controller it is because it is uh, going to differentiate because this s is over here so it's a differentiator basically that we are adding in the uh, feedback path so if we introduce this one so we will have to find out um, updated transfer function between um, these two points so first of all we will have to look for this portion because this is a feedback loop with the um, uh, feedback path in which the transfer function is s into kd so first of all now let's um, calculate the transfer function for uh, this loop so forward transfer function is this one divided by one plus this forward into this one that is the loop gain so the loop gain is this one right so i can uh, write it uh, like this that uh, this is equal to uh, 1 over s into s plus 4 plus k d into s so this finally can be uh, written like this right so this expression is the uh, closed loop transfer function of uh, this portion okay now uh, if we uh, take it over here so then this 60 will be multiplied because that uh, this will be in series with this one so net transfer function of this portion will be equal to 60 multiplied by this one so that you can see over here this is now the new uh, feed forward transfer function and for that h of s is equal to 1 for that loop so h of s is equal to 1 now let's find out the net transfer function between this point and this point so c of s over r of s can be evaluated like that g double dash divided by g double dash into h of s and h of s is equal to 1 so now taking this and simplifying this one we will get this expression as a transfer function between c of s and the r of s okay now again by comparison with the second order uh, standard uh, transfer function so omega n square will be equal to 60 so that you can see over here so omega n will be equal to 7.746 radian per second so it means that uh, your natural frequency is not going to change it is it was um, 7.746 without the controller and with the controller it is same but now if you look at the uh, damping factor so damping 
factor can be now evaluated by comparing this portion with the 2 zeta omega n because this is in the standard form 1 over here standard form is this one s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square that is equal to 0 standard um, second order equation so now comparing this portion this one 2 zeta omega n s with this one so we can write down this expression right and from here i can rearrange it for the kd kd is equal to 2 zeta omega n minus 4 so we need the damping ratio equal to 0 0.6 right so um, let's take it equal to 0 0.6 and solve it for kd so kd is 5.2952 so if we take this gain in our um, this portion over here so if this kd this kd is set equal to 5.2952 so the overall damping factor of our system will be equal to 0.6 so that was our target that we want to get 0.6 uh, damping factor so for that we have evaluated this constant kd in the feedback path okay now let's look at uh, this example uh, feedback system is given to us and what we want to do determine the zeta for unit step input if the unit step input is applied what will be the damping ratio of the system determine zeta mp ts if a pd controller is introduced and uh, kp is equal to 1 and kd is equal to 1 by 30 if this controller is introduced in this feedback uh, system so we want to look at the parameters transient response parameters uh, of the resulting system so first of all let's consider without controller so without controller if we look at the uh, closed loop transfer function so that is cfs divided by rfs that will be equal to this one 120 divided by s plus 12.63 into s plus 120 and uh, this can be written in simplified form like this now comparing this one with the standard second order uh, transfer function omega n square divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square so omega n square is uh, 120 the, comparing this term with this one so omega n will be equal to 10.954 radian per second and uh, then comparing um, the s term this one with uh, this one 2 zeta omega n will be equal to 12.63 so from here we can find out the zeta so zeta without controller is equal to 0 0.5765 now what we are going to do next we are going to introduce a controller and that is the uh, pd controller proportional derivative controller so that you can see over here one part is going directly to this summer and um, uh, proportional gain is you can say equal to one that you uh, that was given over here the proportional path is this one so that is not shown over here and the derivative path is um, having the gain one by 30 so one by 30 into s s is representing the derivation right so that is added over here and um, that is applied as an input to our this gfs so we have introduced a pd controller over here in this loop and now with this we want to find out the transient response parameters okay so first of all let's uh, find out the net closed loop transfer function of this block diagram so that is given uh, by this expression so i assume that now you are able to uh, evaluate the uh, equivalent transfer functions for the given uh, block diagram so that comes out to be this one and uh, now again by comparison with this standard second order uh, equation this is the omega n square so omega n square is this one natural frequency does not change that remains same and that was the same over here as well so with controller and without controller it is same now comparing this term with the 2 zeta omega n so that should be equal to now 16.63 so from here i can find out the zeta and the zeta is equal to 0.759 when we introduce this controller having the proportional gain equal to 1 and the derivative gain equal to 1 by 30 so if we introduce this one so you can observe that that what has happened with the um, damping ratio that has slightly increased right so the pd controller has increased the uh, damping ratio now if we calculate the overshoot so overshoot will be um, is dependent on the damping factor so as it increases the overshoot um, 
uh, will be decreasing as the damping factor will be increasing so overshoot is equal to um, 2.57 percent in this case and the settling time is 4 by zeta omega n so that is 0 0.481 uh, second right so uh, if i uh, quickly sketch the response of this one so it will be like that there will be oscillation and then finally going towards the steady state right so this overshoot will be equal to 2.57 percent and the time to reach it within the two percent range of the uh, steady state so um, this time will be equal to ts and that is given by this expression 0 0.481 uh, second so in this time it will come within the two percent range of its uh, steady state value so we have um, calculated the transient response parameters with the introduction of the controller so in this way you can uh, find out the gain of the controller for the desired response for the second order system you can introduce the proportional controller over here p controller you can introduce the pi controller you can introduce the pd controller you can introduce the pid controller and you can find out the gains for these um, uh, controllers or you can analyze the system response for the given gains of the controller by comparing uh, it with the second order um, standard transfer function and uh, using the information that we have already derived in our previous videos related to the uh, transient response of the second order system right so that's all from this video thank you very much